Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, it's your girl Unknown Goddess. How is everyone doing today? I hope all is well. I hope you guys are enjoying your day or your evening or your night, wherever you are. Now, my girls and I were watching um, Princess and the Frog this past weekend because that's like one of our favorite Disney princess movies, right? And, you know, I, Mama Odie, right? Where they went to go get some help to turn back into a human, but... That song that she was singing, you got to dig a little deeper, deep down in the soul, right? <laughs> but her pet snake, Gyu Gyu, okay, I can't stop saying Gyu Gyu, oh Gyu Gyu. But there was a particular part of that song where she was like, um, money ain't got no soul, money ain't got no heart. Money ain't got no soul, it ain't got no heart. But that, song, that part specifically keeps standing out to me, right? Um, it has no soul, it has no heart. You have to truly love yourself in order to receive it. You have to feel fulfilled within yourself, right? Um, in order to, to receive the love, to receive the healing, to receive the change is basically what the message is saying, right? So I don't know. I don't know who's that for, but I just I keep singing that song and then we keep saying, oh, gil gil. <laughs> Y'all want a piece of candy? But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's the you know it takes willpower it takes strength to be who you really are you know and you have to go through that transformation you got to put in the work to accomplish all that you want in life right so i don't know i just i can't i, I love that i love that movie it's one of our favorite business princess disney movies you gotta dig a little deeper deep down in the soul you know so yeah, take that how that resonates, but I keep singing that song all day. I've been singing it and saying, oh, Gil Gil, Gil Gil, why didn't you tell me my gumbo was boiling over? <laughs> so, you know, also what I'm picking up. OK, so I usually get both sides of, of, of two sides of energy here. OK, my, my moon sign is Cancer, right? My Uranus is Scorpio, right? And do I have any other water in my chart? No, I don't have Pisces in my chart. I got a lot of air and my north node is fire, Leo. And it's like, I, it's like I see both sides. I see the dark and the light, you know. Money ain't got no soul. Money ain't got no heart. And for somebody, when well, you know how they went out to the bayou looking for Mama, Mama Odie, somebody went out there thinking that this voodoo priest or what they're seeking could be done through a spell. You know what I'm saying? You know, we have the answers within all of us. We, we all harness the magic in us. We do. And if you are running to like a voodoo priest, maybe you don't understand certain things, but you, sometimes these voodoo priests, they're not all good people. They're not. They're not all good people. They'll see your gift and because you don't know yourself, you don't know your true magic and your power, these people will harness your energy. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know who you are. You don't know the magic within you. So, you know, it, it's all about putting in that work, really finding what works for you. It's, all, it's, it's about that gut feeling, following your intuition, because the answers are really all within. It really is. And, you know, people, you know, they can only help us to an extent, but really that help is within. It's all in us, baby. It's all in us. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with a little... Yes, yeah, somebody's getting some tarot card readings here, shuffling here, trying to find a message here. But see, you see them third eye? That third eye is blocked. Because somebody don't know their gift. Somebody... Yeah, somebody don't know their gifts. Somebody's here going to see tarot card readers, getting messages, or, you know, sitting on, 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 on YouTube listening to these messages and probably still not feeling fulfilled. You got to dig a little deeper. Deep down in the soul. People, I feel like somebody keeps paying for these tarot card readings, doing this, you know, going to these spiritualists. And a lot of them ain't going to tell you the truth. They're just going to take your money because not all of them are good people. Not all of them do good, you know. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to do your own research and follow your path. And whatever you're feeling on the inside, trust me, believe me, even if you can't touch it, it's real. That's your answer. It is your answer. Okay? 
But we all know good and we know the difference between good and evil. Come on now. We all know. We all know. Ain't nobody foolish. We all adults here. Feel me? All right. So I don't know who's that for, but yeah. Y'all dig a little deeper. Anyways, Mother Isis, Father God, there go that moon energy. There go that fourth house, that cancer energy. I could be dealing with a cancer Pisces or Scorpio here on this chart talking to. This is who I'm talking to or this is what's in your chart. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these rounds, protect my aura and my chakras, give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. So mote it be. So mote it be. All right, you got to dig a little deeper, deep down in the soul. Mm. Some of y'all are coming from lineages of women who does this. Okay? Some of y'all bloodlines... It's the women in your family, very powerful women in your family, my collective. Your grandmothers, your foremothers, yeah, your aunts, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Somebody comes from a very powerful bloodline of women who who does this type of spiritual work. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There go the bloodline. There go the family. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm feeling. There go that six. That's that family. This family does this. There's a, a group of women. There's a bloodline of women. We've seen that six and that four. Okay? Mm-hmm. Very intuitive. Very powerful. Okay? You guys can tap into, you know, but it's, like I said, not all are good. Some of y'all are coming from a family of a bloodline like this. The women in your family is very, very intuitive. Very spiritual. Okay? There, I split the deck again. Look at that. Okay? This has been going on for generations. 10. This 10. It's been going on for generations. It's been passed on. Okay? It's been passed on. I split the decks. So I'm going to take it. Yeah, it's been passed down. Very powerful. What do I see peeking here? There you go. There you go. All right, now. See? The women. Mm-hmm. What else do I see peeking here? Very powerful. Very powerful. You know? Now, I'm not saying all the women in your family use their gift for good. I'm not saying they all did now. Okay, now everybody's a saint. Everybody's accountable for their own soul. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But they're, they're, they're high priestess here. Okay? Yeah, this is passed on from for generations. I feel like somebody here is getting dreams, getting messages. Some of y'all have y'all ancestors. Y'all are dreaming somebody from, from, your, from your ancestral lineage here. Okay? Somebody's getting messages. Okay? Maybe your grand aunt dreaming you. Your grandmother's dreaming you. Your mom. Somebody here. Somebody here. You probably don't even know this feminine in the dream. You probably don't know her, but she knows you. Because it's a part of your bloodline. Okay? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Very powerful. Mmm. Magician energy. Okay? Y'all know how to wave them wands. But see, you got to go within. You got to follow your gut feeling. Follow your intuition. Okay? You already naturally have it in you. I'm, I'm telling you. Yo, let me shuffle this out. I'm for real, y'all. For real. <coughs> I'm speaking the truth. See, I'm coughing. All of a sudden, I got a dry cough. Really? All right? Mmm. Mmm. But you can't be in fear of it. Nah, baby. Mm. Money ain't got no soul. Money ain't got no heart. So somebody was using the spell work to keep somebody bound. Maybe the men in your family always run into women like this. I don't know. Women, my, my, yeah. Mm. Maybe the women in your family do this to hold on to relationships. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm. 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 Hmm. Mm. Yeah, you guys get messages here. 
You see this six right here, this yellow and the solar plex chakra like energy. Six. This is this. This is the third eye. This is the sixth chakra here. Third eye. Okay. You got the foresight. It runs in your family. I'm telling you. You got the foresight here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. There's a karmic energy here, too. <laughs> it's my neighbor, her two baby girls. <laughs> so, somebody's here very codependent. They're using this to love spells. They're using this as love spells to some. Yeah, somebody's very codependent. But see, with this spiritual work right here, you guys are getting messages. There's some, there's a family member that already passed on here, like somebody's grandmother, somebody's aunt, somebody's mother. There's probably this ancestor, you don't even know this woman, but you keep dreaming of her. She keeps sending you these messages from the spiritual realm. I'm telling you, that's what I'm picking up here. Okay? For others, there's somebody who who's in a family situation here, um, they got somebody repeating these cycles because they're codependent on this person. Mm. 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 Okay, now, Spirit. This is two tens on the board. Okay? Here go another six. All right, now. All right, now. Six, six, six. You're gifted. Somebody's here cooperating. This, this, whoever this ancestor is, they're cooperating with you. They're protecting you, too, from somebody who's doing any spell work to you. Okay? This could be your own family member that's doing this to you. Okay, now. All right, now. Okay, now, see, but with this eight, this eight is all about growth. This, this, this is the mastery right here. Mastery, action, and accomplishments. So you're unstoppable. This is what you're supposed to be doing for work. You're supposed to, I, I feel like whatever this six, this six is also like my six of pentacles energy. Okay. Some of y'all do this is for healing work. Some of y'all are tarot card readers. Some of y'all do, you know, y'all get intuitive messages here. Um, but this is your strength. And I feel like it's growing more and more. You're becoming more. And I feel like some of y'all, this is what you do. This is your mastery. This is what you're to do. Okay. You get the messages. Okay. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Virgo. Cancer, Taurus, Gemini's here, okay, Aries, Pisces, take what resonates my collective, okay, you probably had this gift since you was 10 years old, 4 years old, 6 years old, 12 years old, 8 years old, okay, you had this gift since you were a child, okay, Hmm. Okay, let's see what else is going on here, Michael. Yeah, your intuition is popping, baby. Your intuition is on lot, baby. You see them? Them angels are always guiding and protecting you. So if anybody is doing this spell work to you, my collective, or... Uh, this could be somebody that you're... This could be like a, a twin flame connection here where you guys are... This is your soulmate, okay? Where you guys strongly... This communication is coming through the ethers, through through the dreams, through the through through telepathic energy. Okay? Mm. So take what resonates here, because this is a lot right now. I don't want to be overwhelmed right now, and I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. Okay? There's three sixes on the board here. Two, four, and that's six, this six, and this six. Okay? Six, 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 twelve, twelve, twelve. That's 24. That 24 comes right back down to a 6. Okay? 
But see, you got abundance of you got an abundance of love and protection around you, okay? You can accomplish anything you want. Go ahead and take action with this gift because you're supposed to use it. You're supposed to use it, my collective, okay? You're supposed to be here to, to help others to heal, okay, with this gift. Use it. There's some people out here abusing this gift, though, okay? Some of these tarot card readers, they're not real, okay? You can't be sitting here listening to these tarot card readers, okay? But uh, somebody here come from a lineage of women. The women in your family is very, very powerful, very gifted. And if you're paying this person, this person is not the one for you to go to to get your messages from. You got to listen to your intuition. You follow your intuition. Because this person is trying to delay you on your spiritual path. This is like my two of pentacles here. Okay? You're feeling probably stressed, a little confused about it, but nah, nah. You got this. See that 10? Follow your intuition. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but there's a lot of messages here. Let's let's get the um witch's tarot. Let's get the witch's tarot here. There to go that two of pentacles. I can't make it up. Okay, there goes somebody somebody in a family here. This is a family. This is family. Okay? Um It could be a feminine energy here that's trying to keep somebody bound, causing delays from them coming towards you. Blocking this person's path. Or this could be a family member that's trying to block your path. For some of y'all, y'all already know who this person is. This person's been using money to keep using this spell work to kind of keep you like in a six of pentacles energy. When you see this eight all together, this could be somebody at your job that's doing this. This could be a family member. Okay. They're trying to stop you from taking action. But no matter what they do, your strength is unstoppable. Okay? Yeah, your balance. It's like with that Two of Pentacles, honey, anything that comes your path, you know how to adapt to your situation. Because the Two of Pentacles also means adaptability. It means a lot of delays and stress and multi-priorities. Yeah, somebody's been doing this for a very long time, but this has come to a complete end now. They can't stop you. Okay, I'm hearing Diddy, you can hate me now, uh, but I won't stop now. Uh, and I can't stop now. That's what I'm hearing. You can hate me now. Okay, you're balanced. Four of Wands is all about balance, harmony. You feel me? All right, let's keep it pushing here. I told you this is, yeah, didn't, I can't make this shit up. Look at that Eight of Wands. Didn't I tell you? Eight of Wands, baby, you're unfucking stoppable no matter what they put your, in your path. Uh, you're unstoppable. I know what I'm talking about when I see it. I know it. Whoever this is, look at that wheel of fortune. There go that emperor too. This emperor could be married to this queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles is trying to stop what's destined to be. Okay? But that emperor also represents your wise baby. Wisdom. Boss. This queen of pentacles, I'm going to tell you right now, life is changing for her. She's trying to keep this masculine bound. Okay? Okay, hold up now. Yep, there go that toxic energy. There go that there go that devil energy. Peeking. There it go. Didn't I tell y'all saw that Capricorn energy? Something stability. They've been using this energy to keep this masculine bound or keep you bound. It could be y'all baby daddy too. I'm telling you right now, it could be a baby daddy that's doing this. Okay, or an Aries. Or a Capricorn. This person is definitely jealous of you. Envious of you. Did, with that five of swords energy, yes, yeah, somebody's very using some devil energy here. I told you they're fucking toxic as hell. They're trying to use this masculine or use you to keep you back. They're trying to keep you in the six of pentacles energy, trying to have you, you know, they very codependent on you or this masculine. But whatever it is, this karmic can't stop what's happening because you see this 10, this cycle is over. They're going to wheel of fortune. That cycle is over. I told you this. Three tens on this board, eight and a two, six and a four, and another six and a four. It's over. This Queen of Pentacles is stressing. She been trying to stop this soulmate connection. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. She's up. She's stressed. She's stressed. 
Whatever she's been doing in the dark, using moon magic or something, it's a lineage of them. Okay, some of them, they was just trying to stop your money. But see, with that Queen of Pentacles energy, even though you was laying here and in fears and at nights and stress, worried where the next dollar was going to come from, Two of Pentacles, there was always another door open for you. You found a way. They can't stop you. Eight of Wands, okay? So there's two, I told you, I pick up on two energies here, dark and the light. I pick up on both. You feel me? These people are fucking envious of you, jealous of you. They was in co secret competition with you. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. Three of swords. Huh? This person was trying to hurt you. They liked when you was in this. But this queen of pentacles, this person, this five of swords person right here, this is how they're feeling now. Nine of swords. Because they can't stop you. Now, this queen of pentacles is two energies for me. She could be either this envious person that's jealous of the queen of pentacles. Or she's the queen of, or this, or this queen of pentacles is you who they trying to stop this emperor from coming towards. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Okay. But whatever they're doing, it's a waste of fucking time. I told you some of them are going to tarot card readers. They don't like the fact that you are very highly intuitive. You got this gift with this high priestess energy. You're fully aware of yourself. Some of y'all do this for work. Some of y'all are tarot card readers. Okay, this I'm gonna tell you right now this karmic that five of swords devil energy is this karmic this karmic watches you if you guys are on a platform they watch you they get they try to they try to go it's like they're ahead of you trying to find out what's your next step or what's this emperor's next step okay but they can't stop what's destined to be baby because I said you're unstoppable they can't stop it this is faded where you're meant to be in your life these people can't stop it okay they need to stop three of swords energy they was trying to keep you in mental anguish, stressing, nine of swords. But see, the tables have turned. The tables have turned. That's karma. That's karma. Now they're feeling bound to all this spell work they was doing. See, see, you fully woke. You woke, woke, baby. This high priestess energy is fully, this is self-awareness, sacred knowledge, higher consciousness. That's what you got going for you. Okay? Yeah. And this is what they was creating for you. Burdens. They wanted you to be out on the streets, five of pentacles, stressing, broke, but now they're in mental and emotional and financial poverty. They're going to be out left in the cold, ten of wands. They're going to be out here begging. They're going to be the ones like, okay, so I heard like, um, they're going to be like dogs barking, dog, um, passing it out. Psalms 59. Go read that Psalms. Go read Psalms 59. Okay? That's the Psalms I'm hearing. So this person right here, they're going to be in financial and spiritual poverty. Because I'm going to tell you right now, this person has a lack mentality. When it comes to money, they are always in stress. They always stressing. This is how they wanted you. Some of them, they wanted you to be like this with your children. That's how they wanted you on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them was at work. Didn't I tell you with that eight of pentacles energy? That six and that two, they're going to eight of pentacles. This is somebody that was at your job doing this. But see, it could be a Libra, but justice is being served, baby karma okay what you put out is what you're gonna get back straight up okay yeah what you put out is what you're gonna get back for some this this eight of cups energy right here is this emperor walking away from this queen of pentacles coming to the divine feminine that high priestess energy he's about to let her know straight up i'm done he's ending this family situation with the justice card here okay divorce so she was trying to stop this masculine this emperor from coming from to the divine feminine Okay, he's walking away from that shit. He's done. He's done. It's over. For some, it was at work. See, they underestimated your power, baby. Y'all got some powerful ancestors around you. This person underestimated your strength. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Because see, this person was a hater too. They didn't like it. Because I'm telling you, if you're on a platform, if you got any type of platform or you're, this could be a neighbor, this could be a family member. I don't care who it is. This person is a karmic. You see, whenever they threw shit your way, yeah, they had you repeating cycles. They did. You felt like you was repeating these cycles over and over and over. I'm going to tell you, see this eight and this two? This is the ten of pentacles. This is the family situation here. But they was trying to stop you from your wealth. But the thing is, what you're born with, naturally what you're born with, who you're destined to be, is going to be. You never stopped. You always found another way out of it. You are a multitasker. You're adapted to that situation. Your strength is undeniable. You hear me? All right now. So thank them. Because they got you on this mastery. They got you on your high priestess, high priest energy. Take it how it resonates, okay? For this masculine, this emperor, he's walking away from this um, 
from this queen of pentacles because this queen of pentacles was trying to compete with you divine fam i'm gonna tell you that right now these people at work was trying to compete with you you see that this emperor was bound with spell work magic sex magic yeah bound with the devil card in this family situation this blood work she was doing blood magic whatever she was doing she was working with the moon phase yes she was now she's sitting here stressed now she's sitting here stressed because if she even had this gift, that gift was taken from her. Remember when I was saying earlier, people have the gift inside, but not everybody uses it for good. This is this one right here. This is this one right here. Nine of swords, three of swords, five of swords. Oh, it's like, you know, when you want to win at all costs, but you ain't winning. Every time you do something, it's like spirit just pull the rug from under them. That's what's going on right now. That's what's going on right now. It's time for this shit to end. It's time for balance. It's time for realignment. You feel me? Because this is what's destined to be. This cycle right here, what's destined to be is destined to be. Y'all, this love is an eternal love with this emperor and this divine feminine. You hear me? It's unstoppable. I feel like you guys communicate. Eight of Wands. Y'all communicate through the ethers. Y'all communicate through dreams. It's a soulmate connection here. All right? But y'all got some powerful ancestors, some powerful angels around y'all. Yeah, I'm here in Prior Warrior, but read Psalms 59, because that's what's going on for this one over here, this wicked. No rest for the wicked. No rest for them. This one over here, okay? So with the Justice card, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor, yeah, he's walking away from this Queen of Pentacles. He's, he's serving her ass. There go. This is the law, okay? This is karma. This is, um, this is law, karma, cause, and effect, Okay, because what you put out is what you're going to get back. And that's what's happening to these people. Okay, that's what's happening to these people. Okay, I don't care who it is. Take what resonates, my collective. Let's see what's going on here. What should I get, Spirit? Oh, what's the scoop? Let's see what's going on here. Things need to be realigned. Oh, let me, I heard Kipper first. Hold on, y'all. Y'all about to get a message from this masculine they go to seven. Y'all about to get the message. I feel like some of y'all are getting these messages. Okay. How long I've been on here? Y'all, I got a busy weekend. So I'm going to try to push out so many. I'm going to push out as much videos as I can. Because this Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be at so many. I'm a vendor at two events. Huge events. With my girl, Kajivi Botanicals, LLC. And um, I cook. And I'm cooking for like thousands of people here, okay? I'm one of the many vendors, but it's it's work and I love it. That's coming soon. I won't be talking about that just yet. We're just going to get things wrapped up with that. But I'm trying to push out as many videos as I can before this week. Because I got, I got food to season up. I got so much stuff to do, okay? All right. What else we got going on here, Spirit? Oh, oh. There you go. Unexpected is in reverse. It fell right in reverse. This unexpected income that this karmic here it is. They've been left out in the cold. That queen of pentacles. She ain't getting what she thought she was going to be getting. Nah. See, secretly, this emperor was planning on taking action. Okay? Whatever, abundant, whatever he was waiting to accomplish, he got it. He was waiting. There was a lot of delays here with that two of pentacles, but secretly he was getting his shit in balance. He was working behind the scenes on secretly that emperor. Yeah, he was because he's coming to take action to share whatever he got with this empress, with this, with this high priest, with this divine feminine energy here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah, this unexpected fell in, re in reverse. So whatever she thinks she's going to get in the court of law, this masculine, she's going to have to walk away with what she got. Because I did see the four, to four of pentacles. She only going to get, if they have children together, she only going to get her child support and everything else that's, that's necessary. She ain't getting no more. Unexpected fell in reverse. Okay, yeah. This person is feeling in prison. They're feeling bound to whatever they was manifesting over your life, my collective. Some of them is actually going to physical jail. Okay, here you go. Poverty. There it is. There go that poverty. Unexpected income is in reverse. Five of Pentacles and poverty. They're getting left out in the freaking cold and spiritually. Okay? These are some, There go the occupation again. These are some people at your fucking job that was doing this. Trying to stop your money. Yeah, some of them, you worked with them. Mm-hmm. 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 If you're a master at your job 
and you're master at what you do at your career in your job these people didn't like it you probably was a little younger than some of these elders maybe you was old maybe you were younger than some of these seniors because that emperor could be a senior as well somebody that's older and they didn't like the fact that you was coming in with new money ideas and shit. They didn't like this, that you was getting paid, Queen of Pentacles. So I take this Queen of Pentacles as two energy. Okay, so take what resonates, all right? Yeah, courthouse, baby. This is where it's going. Because this person was false. False, false, false. That's who the emperor is leaving. False, okay? False as hell. There it go, false as hell. False. Okay, negative boo. Bye. Didn't I tell you? I split the deck. Spell work. That's what they were doing. Spell work. Yeah, because they were stubborn. They were reluctant to letting go. These people were stubborn. These people was competing with you. They hated the fact that you always knew, like, no matter what they threw your way, no matter what they threw out in the ethers towards you, you always found your way to balance it out. But see, while these people was doing this to you, huh? Let me tell you what's going on. Hmm? Why they was doing this to you? Because some of them, they were family members. Some of them, they was people who you were working with at the job. These older folks at the job didn't like the fact that you was coming in with new ideas and you was changing up the game. That's what you was doing. You came in with fresh new ideas with this mastery. Okay? Yeah, and you were accomplishing things that they couldn't accomplish all the years they've been in this position. They couldn't accomplish that. But you come in, you've been there eight months, two years, six years or so, eight years, and in such a short, short space of time, you're above their ranking. They didn't like that shit. No, they didn't like that shit. No, no, no. See, I just saw it. I just saw the new job. See, some of them is getting fired from that. But let's shuffle it out. You made these people lose their position. Times have changed. See, kicked out. Some of them got kicked out. And I'm going to tell you right now, this karmic got kicked out too. This karma got kicked out of this masculine's house and life. And she probably did that too. She probably tried to get this masculine arrested because she knew what was going on between you and him, Divine Feminine. She knew the connection that y'all had together. This queen, this, this karmic forced herself on, on this masculine, on your destined path. She's a copycat. She knew this man secretly had feelings for you, deep emotions for you. She knew. So she, inter she interjected herself. Okay, here it goes. So somebody continue to purify your energy and your aura because you already got you got the sacred knowledge. You know how to do that. No matter what they do, no matter what comes your way. OK, a lot of them is losing their fucking job. Didn't I tell you shit have to be balanced? The universe have to balance this out. They're going to justice. Yeah, a situation needed balance because this is what they was creating in your life. Blockages and obstacles, wishing evil intent on you. Look at that. But by the time God's spirit is done with them, they're going to need a fucking therapist. Because I'm telling you, everything that they're doing right now with all this swords, nine of swords, three of swords, five of swords, oh, it's, it's going to drive them fucking insane. They're going to need a therapist. Yeah, because it was always fake. The grass was always greener because it was fake. And didn't I tell you that phase is ending soon? There go that 10. There it go. Whatever they was working with, that moon energy, it's done. Their shit is catching up to them. It says someone's actions are catching up to them. I told you they're feeling bound. Nine of swords, devil card? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Because see, celebrating, that's what you're going to keep doing, boo-boo. You're going to keep celebrating. Celebrate good times. Come on. And there will be a reason to celebrate. So whatever that is, that's between you and that emperor or whatever it is you are meant to do in your life. Okay. And y'all are meant to be. So take it either way. Here it is, baby. Here it is, baby. All that trickery, whatever they were doing, going through them bayous, going to them grave sites, doing moon magic, going to high priestesses to do the work for them, to cause delays in your life. Because some of them was paying this high priestess to do the work, to cause delays in your life. But see, this high priestess was very powerful. Whoever this high priestess is had a hold on this masculine keep on for this queen of pentacles to be taken care of for a very long time but see they didn't understand that you are a high priest is your, your high priest your damn self okay they didn't understand your wisdom okay so celebrating and meant to be the relationship is magical and it's meant to be there will be a reason to celebrate so that's for the single ones here and that's for the ones that's com coming back in union with their soulmate two of cups two okay yeah all this trickery and there she go i knew it copycat i knew it i knew it look at that i knew it some of them was at the job jumping to conclusions, trying to tell lies on you, trying to make it seem like you were stealing from the job. That's what they was trying to make it seem like you were stealing shit from the job. But this karmic was getting readings ahead of time. She knew what was to come or they, whoever they are, who, them, her, we, whoever. They knew they was jumping to conclusions here. Okay. They're fucking obsessed with you. And it's coming to a breaking point. That's the 10 of wands. Look at that burdened 
Huh? Because why? Things are becoming too much to bear. It's burden on them. Yeah, go sit y'all asses down. They were spreading rumors on you. They found it funny at the time, huh? But Spirit was always guiding you to stay in your life's purpose. There you go. Finding your life's purpose. And there you go. That upgrade. Now they're here stuck, fork in the road. They don't know which way to turn. They don't know which way to turn. For some of y'all, it's your soulmate. Mirroring similar experiences here. Okay? This person desires you, that emperor. Yeah, he does. You're absolutely inspirational to him. You're his muse. He's coming in to apologize to you. For some of them, they're going to have to come back and apologize and forgiveness. Because I said no rest for the wicked. All right? Yeah, leaving it all behind. That's the Eight of Cups. That's that emperor. He's walking away from that Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah, because she was codependent. Didn't I tell you I picked up on that Six of Pentacles energy? Yeah, they wanted you to be in a codependent energy. These family members, whoever, but they was missing a major part of the piece of the puzzle that was destined to be what's meant to be is your life's purpose. No matter how much they want to delay it with that Two of Pentacles, they can't stop it. You can hate me now, uh, but I won't stop now. Uh, and I can't stop now. Uh, you can hate me now. All right. Somebody going to want your forgiveness because they're going to have to bow down and confess. They're going to have to confess. So that's what I have for you, my soul subscribers. I wish you guys love and light. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button for when I'm coming with the ladies. And you guys will be prompt. Love and light.